So now looking at this ship and looking at the concept, so if we go back into the concept, I find that there's, there's already a few things that I've realized that uh, we've kind of missed out on. I think this point here is wrong. So I think maybe the best thing would be is let's get rid of these two faces. Let's select these faces and let's go delete faces. And let's get rid of that little triangle as well. Delete faces. Um, we will merge these two vertices. Alt M last. Yeah, last vertice. Alt M last. I'll select these two faces. Face. 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 Whoa, there's, uh, there's quite a few faces in there. You know what? Let's fix that up. Alt M uh, last. Alt M last. We keep that one there. Alt M last. Alt M last. Alt M last. Alt M last. Then that's just because we use the booleans. I'm just going to tidy these ones up as well. Last. Not too... F yeah, let's get rid of that one as well. Alt M last. Alt M last. Do I... Yes, let's get rid of that one. Alt M last. Alt M last. And we... Oh, jeez. Just more and more. Let's come back to them. So now we've kind of got this cut at the bottom, which to me looks a lot better. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to fill this out, this bit area here. So I think maybe the best thing will be is let's just add in this cube. Oops, go side view. Cube, cube, cube. And I'm going to move it over to the side, scale it down. Let's just see how that looks. Scale on the Y. Um, let's get that face in there. We'll pull that in there. How's that looking? That is looking a little bit better. Let's move that up. Let's move that in. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So what I'm going to do is rather than copying and pasting everything across, I'm going to go into the to the modifiers panel and I'm just going to add the mirror modifier I think that that's too great like that if we kind of bring this up as well yeah that looks quite nice so we're still just blocking we're still getting an idea what the ship looks like the cockpit's quite nice I'm very happy with that Let's bring maybe this down, but then we, that means we've got to bring this in and we'll bring that up a little bit. Yeah, I think what we so let's just try just for fun control B to bevel. And what do we got there? Mm. I think we might need to revise that a little bit later. I'm just going to control Z to that one. All right. The other thing on the concept as well that I put in, I put in little air vents, air vents in there, which isn't too bad. We can put them in a little bit later. So it's now just, how are we going to block it? Let's, what are we going to do about the front is the main question. Because obviously this is the first thing that people will see. I'm going to do I to do an inset. I think I might do S to scale on Z on the Z axis. And I'm going to do E to extrude. Size to the Z. Ugh. Do not like that. So the question is, what are we going to do about that? Because to me, that just seems a little bit bulky. 
So if I do O to do, what is that? The proportional editing tool. Size Z, and with the mouse wheel, we can adjust how much, how many faces we're going to affect. No, I don't like that at all. Do not like that at all. Maybe I might be wrong about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into object mode, shift D to duplicate that, right click to put it back in, and I'm going to press M and move that to layer two. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I go to layer two, we've got that piece. Let's, let's try some stuff. What are we going to do? Delete faces. Let's just bring that in. Press O to turn the proportional editing tool off. And what are we going to do here? That's the main question. Do we continue with this box? The box idea. Shift D, size Z. Extrude on the Y axis. Um, Hmm. It semi works out. And then from there, what we could do is probably do I to do an inset. And I'm going to select this edge and bring it down a little bit. And I can just do that by selecting it and going GG. And that'll move it along the normal, along the face. I'm going to extrude this box by pressing E. Actually, well, let's cancel that. I'm going to shift D on that face, to duplicate, right click. I want to select the f other face. I'm going to do right click again, extrude. And I'm going to go back to the original face that we selected. I'm going to do control R to add a few loop cuts in like so and I'm going to right click to put that in the center control B oh, maybe we can just do it like that so it didn't extrude and we'll bring it back down through there see the thing is it's a spaceship What's it collecting? The spaceship doesn't need air. Control L. Where is that face? There it is. And I want to delete that face. So we kind of got this cool effect. So that seems a lot better to me. It makes a bit more sense. And the other thing is as well that I would like to do is shorten this. Because I think that was just sticking out far too far. Far too far. Hmm. So now we've kind of got this ship that's coming along. Um, one thing we'll do here is let's go to the add modifier. We're going to add in a bevel. And we want to change it to angle. Because at the moment every edge is beveled, which is not what we want. We want it on the angle so anything over 90 degrees I believe will get beveled and why is that not beveled is my question I believe that there's one big face which is definitely not what we want I thought I fixed that delete face and so now all our faces should be beveled and that should just give the ship a little bit more let's do smooth Two. All right, that's looking a lot better. I think we're going to have to come in and fix all these edges up as well, like I did before, because there's a lot of edges that aren't lining up. So if I go back to flat, 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 tab, flat, 
So they are being beveled, but they just don't seem very pretty. Um, we've got these edges in here beveled. And I didn't think about that, did I? So what I've done here is I've already removed, let's just hide that. I've already removed all these edges, which I think I'm going to have to go back in. Fill. Hmm. Fill. 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 So this is what we're going to do is we're kind of just going to work around this entire ship. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these faces. I'm going to press I. Which is really good. Ah, I think we need to come back. We need to first clean up this whole edge because we're going to have these yucky pieces. But then what that's going to do is that's just going to have a platform to have the glass sit on. So we won't do that now. I'm just going to delete those faces. We'll come back to them. I'm just going to press Alt-H to bring back the glass. Where's my glass? There we go. Um, but yeah. Let's go next bit. Let's just add... Let's just block the engine in the next bit.